Hello and welcome to the Django Celery Mastery course. Just a quick reminder, if you like this course and would like to access the source code and more, you can access this course on Udemy. The link to the course, which should provide the best price, is in the video description. In Celery, task routing refers to the process of determining which worker or workers should execute a specific task. It's going to allow us to control the distribution of tasks across different workers based upon specific criteria such as task names, arguments, or custom attributes. There is a lot to learn here in task routing. And at this point, I simply want to introduce the concept and to give you a general overview of the capabilities of task routing and what you might utilize it for. And then in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and start to actually build some simple configurations to enable task routing. Now, I apologize, I don't have any fancy graphics here, but let's just uh, go through an overview of task routing. So task routing is a crucial feature in Celery that enables efficient and intelligent distribution of tasks within a distributed task queue system. So task routing refers to the process of determining the destination of tasks based upon predefined rules or conditions. It's going to allow us to control how tasks are dispatched to worker nodes and manage their execution across the available resources. Now, there are a number of different benefits of task routing. So improved scalability, loading, balancing, granular control. So task routing helps distribute the workload evenly across multiple worker nodes. It's going to help prevent bottlenecks and ensure efficient utilization of resources. So here we have a very flexible workload. So by defining routes or routing rules, we can direct specific types of tasks to dedicated worker groups or prioritize critical tasks based upon their nature or urgency. This does feed into load balancing because with task routing, we can distribute tasks across multiple queues or workers achieving load balancing and maximizing the throughput of our distributed system. And of course, granular control, meaning we have very fine specific control. And by this, I mean that task routing provides fine grain control over task distribution. So it allows us to route tasks based upon names, custom attributes, runtime conditions, or even some dynamic factors. Ultimately, the benefit of task routing will feed into optimization. So optimizing resource utilization, improving scalability, and gaining more control over how tasks are executed. Now, although in this section of the course, we are really just looking at basic task routing, task routing in Celery does go beyond simple static routing rules and offers advanced techniques to handle complex routing scenarios. So here we have dynamic routing based upon runtime conditions, routing based on task arguments or context, and also possibility of utilizing external routing strategies or plugins. So dynamic routing allows us to make routing decisions at runtime based upon very specific conditions or criteria. We have the capabilities of defining custom routing logic within our tasks or task pro producers to determine the destination of tasks dynamically. Now, this flexibility really enables us to route tasks based upon factors such as workload, system status, availability of resources, or other dynamic information. More advanced features, routing based upon task arguments or context. Now, here Celery allows us to route tasks based upon their arguments or context. Now, by examining these arguments passed into the task, we can make routing decisions based upon their values or types, types of those arguments. So this is really going to enable us to route tasks with different characteristics or requirements to specific worker nodes or queues that can handle them more efficiently. So really just to make you aware of external routing strategies or plugins, Celery does provide extensibility through external routing strategies or plugins. You can implement custom routing strategies by defining your own routing algorithms, for example, or integrating with external systems. 
So external routing plugins enable integration with external services, such as message brokers, databases, or configuration management tools. So all these will help determine task destinations based upon various factors. Even just taking a look through the Python package index, you'll probably find packages to um, extend Celery, for example, enabling scheduling periodic tasks with Redis, or maybe creating some sort of failover, automatic failover with Redis again. So integration with these different tools that we're utilizing, scheduling tasks, um, you'll find many SQL alchemy based schedulers for Celery. So just extending from other technologies to create better interoperability between Celery and other technologies that might be utilized in the Celery infrastructure. Okay, so Celery routing is like telling a group of workers where they should go and what tasks they should do. So let's just imagine you have different workers, each specializing in specific types of tasks. Task routing helps you assign the right task to the right worker, making the work more organized and efficient.